Welcome back, folks. We are going to build that underground station that we tried to build last time. I have figured out how to do it. So let's do it. We're going to get it in here and we're going to place it something like that, I think. Uh, but I want, because I don't want the platform to be in the middle. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a platform on the left and a platform on the right. So that we have it like that. And we're going to put it in like that, I think. So there we have an underground station. Now, we need here in street constructions, we need to add... An entry point that's the problem that we were having last time so we're going to place an entry there and we're going to place an entry there so now we can get into the station fantastic and on top of the station we are going to plant um, going to plant a bus station but I'm not entirely sure which one I want um, I mean we can't really do this one there's a collision with something I guess it's the um... so we can do this I want it to turn around though. Kinda want it like this, I think. So that we have it here. Or should we do it over on the other side? I think we should do it over on the other side. Uh, so that we have it here. want two platforms on the right we do 30 meters they are too long so 20 meters uh, really would like to connect them I think this will be fine all right let's see so this is underground, which is good. There will be buildings on top. And we can get in and out with the rails. So I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Then we want tracks. We want catenaries and we want to come out something like this. I don't necessarily want it to go up. I think I want it to be flat. And... Kind of like this tunnel. Um, dang it. Okay. Now, what I really want to see, actually, is can we get under here? No. Not as things stand. So maybe we go down a bit. Now we can get across. So if we come down and we build it to something like out here, I kind of want this on. We just come out to here and then come across without going down that's fine to around here and then we come up
from there. Can we come out all the way back there. It's a long way in. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that we come up around here. Next to the farm. Okay. Uh, let's turn this off. Uh, that's not quite good, is it? What We can fix that by removing this road for a bit. Okay. Let's do this. And I want that. That looks kind of nice. Okay. Let's get the other one going. Keep Doki. Okay. I have to remove that road. And what if we just come in like that? That seems okay. It seems okay. Let's fix the terrain a bit. We'll fix this road later, but I like the look of this tunnel. I really do. Okay, then we need to come out from London and into Manchester. Now, where's the Manchester train station going to be? I'm kind of thinking around here. And then come up into Glasgow, which we can put in here, maybe. Now these are not going to be underground. So which stations do we want here? UK style passenger station, 320 meters. Uh, just one track in Glasgow is enough. Uh, we'll have a medium building. Now, we're not going to go any further than this, but I think this is fine. And we can actually connect up over on this side, I think. Mm. Now, let's do it on the other side. So something like there? Does that seem reasonable? I suppose it does. And let's smooth this out a bit. Alright. And then... We need to tear down a lot. I think we'll use the same. We want 
uh, two tracks here. Uh, I think we'll do an underpass. And we'll do a uh, large building. So I kind of want this to come in here. Which means that we need to tear down several roads and buildings. Let's do that. Let's do that for now. Still colliding with that road. Oh. I'm sorry, Manchester and Liverpool, but if you want a train station, that's what's going to happen. So let's get you in there. We have the underpasses there, that's fine. And then we need tracks. And I am perfectly fine with that. Let's come over a little bit. Like that. I want the tunnel to be that one. Actually, we could use this one over in England. Let's use that one. And connect up to the station. And connect up to here. I'm actually okay with that little thing. That little tunnel there. That's fine by me. Okay. And then we're coming out this end. There's a bit of road in the way there. Let's just tear that out. And come out this way. And let's see what this will look like. That will actually look okay. Uh, we'll do the old style thing. And we'll do a bridge. Which will be... Something like that. Yeah. I like it. Boom. Get in there. Right, now which one did we connect up? That one. So you come out here. And then you connect up there. Okay. That's a big stretch of rail that we're doing. And I like it. So we need some signals. Uh, I think I'll just do the signals off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, we have got signals. And then we need a depot to get some trains on here. And I think we'll do that down here in France. Um, where's the depot that we have now? It's there. Can we get that going around? To... Well, I suppose we could just change its orientation a bit. Um, no buildings. We will turn you around and put you in there and 
And then we'll get you in there. And a little uh, not one way signal. There we go. We have our signals and we have our depot. Now we need to set up the line and we need to set up um, passenger lines in the cities. So how are we going to fix our little uh, destruction of Liverpool and Manchester here? Can we get a road across here? We can actually. that and do that so we have that hooked up then this and probably come down here and that's the two parts of Manchester connected up or Liverpool and Manchester. Okay, good, good. Then we need buildings. We need passenger. Station and we do it if it's 10 meters, we can. So we'll put in a passenger station there. I want two platforms, don't I? Uh, configure uh, passenger. All right, let's put a passenger platform in there. So we have two passenger platforms there. And then we need a passenger stop here, which we'll have coming in here. I think that'll be okay. And you are connected, right? No, you're not. Well, that sucks. that and then do that and we'll get our bus station in here again there we go and you are connected yes you are good We want to do trams. I mean, we could. Nah, let's not. Let's not. Um, so we'll be coming down here. We'll go. Here, I think we'll get a street going like that, and then we'll be going here, and that'll do it for Glasgow. Then, here we will. What's it 
come up this way. Come down here. Over here. Over here. I mean, we need something over on this side, don't we? So I think that'll work. And then London, which will have a bus stop. I think down here. Then we'll have a bus stop down here, here. Out here, there, there, mm, there, there, and here. Okay. New line. We'll be going from there. Um, to there. 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 There and back again. Uh, London Exchange to Chester Road. That is a bus stop. Highfield Road and London Road. Where's Highfield Road? there why does this not work all right let's try this again uh, uh there was london in there wasn't there all right no this one ad station london exchange chester road broadway to Manchester Road, Green Lane, Windsor Road, Mill Lane, South Street, uh, York Road, Highfield Road, Chester Road. That's fine. This will be London. Uh, this one will go from there to there. Actually, no. We'll go from there to there. 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 Uh, over here. and back again. So it's not going to be the exact same route, but that's okay. Uh, London Circle 1. Okay. You know what, let me get these uh, lines in and I'll be back. Okay. We have some lines in. Uh, so what are the new lines that we made? Well, uh, it's going to be easier to look over here. We have the UK EU Express, which is going, of course, from, uh, from Paris to London to Liverpool and Manchester to Glasgow, back to Liverpool and Manchester, back to London and back to Paris. And then we have the the circles that we created i am clicking the wrong places 
So we have uh, London Circle 1, London Circle, Liverpool Circle 1, Liverpool Circle, and Glasgow Circle. Glasgow only gets one circle, uh, because that's just the way it is. Tough luck, Glasgow. So let's start getting some vehicles. Um, we want passenger vehicles. And let's get the Gagan out. Um, let's get two, put you on, uh, where is London Circle, there, then we'll buy another couple of Gaganaus, and put them on the other London Circle, you know what, let's make them yellow. I don't want to color all the vehicles, but some of them is kind of nice to color. Uh, then we need... We don't have road depot up here, but we have a road depot up there. Okay. So... Let's get... Another two, I think. For the Manchesters. Or Liverpool and Manchester circles. Uh, so... Let's see, Liverpool, circle one, and two, and I don't know what color the Liverpool circle is, it's an orangey kind of thing, I think this one, maybe, and Liverpool circle, okay. And then up here in Glasgow, uh, we will get, I think, two as well for the Glasgow Circle. It's not color. Right, so that's those done. Then we need the train line. Uh, don't have any we do have electric i am kind of thinking electric maybe or is it a little bit early to be doing electric i don't know i kind of feel like it's a bit early to be doing electric uh, Let's do you. And then for passenger wagons. British Pullmans. Now let's see. Capacity 12. Okay, they all have capacity of 12, so we can mix and match, which is good. We do have a very high top speed compared to what we can do. 110 is probably better. You know what, let's do that. We put four on there. We do have some very steep stuff. So what if we put two of these on here? I mean, we could also mix and match. So if we put... Which one was it that could do 110? The British, this one. So if we do... Two of you... And then a British Pullman first class. And uh, why didn't it add that? And a British Pullman third class. So it's doing 54 on the steep stuff. But other than that, we find it looks a little bit weird with the different cars on it, doesn't it? But you know what? I'm okay with that. 
and we'll put you on UK EU Express. And let's see how that goes. Is it coming? It's coming. Okay. So that will mean that you can get from Glasgow all the way down to Marseille and all the way over to Prague. Which I think is fantastic. I think that is absolutely fantastic. Are we getting passengers yet? Nope. But it is working. We can see that we have the entrances. It has everything it needs. So that is good. And it's connecting most of the town. All right, we don't have any warnings. So let's just let the train get all the way up to Glasgow. And then I think we'll take a ride. Are there are passengers coming here. Doesn't look like it, not yet. But hopefully by the time our train gets up there, there will be passengers waiting. There are passengers waiting here. Some wanting to go to Glasgow, some wanting to go to London. Great. There is... There are passengers here. Fantastic. And the train is coming into the station. I think. Or did it already pass? It already passed. It's way up here. So you know what? We are going to... Slow down a little bit. We are going to... Hey, train ride. On this beauty. All right. Let's get, we can see all the way over to Dublin over there, which is pretty impressive. Coming into the station. Oh, there are some passengers, at least two, three, four, five, six, seven passengers, I think. Eleven passengers. All right. Come out, and of course we're driving on the wrong side since we're in the UK, but there's nothing we can really do about that. Well, there, we could do something about it, but I don't want to. I don't want to have that hassle. But look at these uh, tunnel entrances. I like it. I like it. And we're doing 90, which is the top speed of our train. Wow, look at all those passengers waiting for us. I love it. And we are getting 50 passengers on board. Wow. That is cool. Oh, there's a, some of our trucks delivering bricks to Liverpool and Manchester. Let's take a trip down the British countryside through this tunnel. Like it. And into Liverpool and Manchester. No, into London, sorry. Wow, look at all those passengers waiting in London. This is cool. This is cool. Oh, I love it. All right, we're going down to cross under the channel. Here we go. And coming back out on the French side. And 
we're doing 80. 80 isn't bad. 79. I think that's actually a pretty decent speed. And we have, we are full. We are. We have full passengers. We couldn't squeeze another person in there. Alright. And here we go. Into Paris. Where there are also a lot of passengers waiting to go up to the UK. This is fantastic. How many people are we going to get on board here? We're full. We are actually full. I'm thinking that we are going to make a lot of money off this passenger line. I really am. I want to see this uh, tunnel entrance over here. I think that looks pretty cool. Alright. Yeah, that looks very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright. So, we have passengers waiting everywhere. Wow, 112 up to Liverpool and Manchester. 78 down to Paris. We definitely need another train on this. 23, 34, and 24. There is no doubt in my mind that we might as well clone this train straight away. Uh, let's just do it. There we go. Train number 21. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, I do want to just quickly take a look at the train itself as well. Because we haven't had this one before. A good looking train. And I don't mind that the carriages are kind of a mix. I, I don't really mind that. First class looks nice. First class looks okay as well, actually. Not as okay as first class, though. But yeah, very, very cool. Very, very cool indeed. But we are out of time, so uh, we will have to continue on in the next one. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.